All right, we have a uh, Ian. We have a we actually have a scumbag. Oh, we do have a scumbag oh, seller of the week. Scumbag, scumbag seller of the week. The week. Now this came from Twitter. Now this wasn't a super new news article, a news item to me. Here, I can click on it from Twitter. I didn't find it, but this is a vending machine in a California mall that uh, is selling pirated, counterfeit bullshit Game Boy games in little packets. Yep. Yeah, you can see uh, bootleg copies of, uh, like, Pokemon Sapphire, and um, honestly, it's a bit small for me to see much other than that. I can't quite uh, get it to expand, but uh, oh, there we go. Um, but yeah, they're, uh, they're, they're put in little plastic sleeves and put in a vending machine that's in the uh. Del Amo Mall. Uh, you get all the Pokemon uh, Game Boy Advance games. You get the Emerald version... You get the you get the ruby leaf green, is it ruby for that the Game yes. Boy Advance? Um, Metroid Zero Mission, Castlevania, Fire Emblem. Yep, those are all the popular ones that that are very very expensive. Golden normally. Sun, Mario Pin- Pinball Land. Is that a popular one you'd want to pirate? No, uh, not that I'm aware of. Uh, what is it? Uh, uh, Mario vs Donkey Kong, Spider Man of all things. So yeah, these are all like. It, it, most of these look like uh, they're the bootleg versions. Some of these may be legitimate, but uh, yeah, um, it was reported that they are uh, definitely bootleg games from people who have have purchased them. Why can't I find the tweet anymore? Did the tweet go down? Nope, I'm looking at it right now. Okay, and the tweet the tweet I saw the pictures, they were bundling the games, and they include like include like a little Jolly Rancher. They include a little a little. Uh, <laughs> a little a little snack in there. Oh well. yeah, there's a little Mentos or a Jolly Rancher or something <laughs> in there. And I heard they're charging twenty bucks for these. So from the from the tweet, uh, who who, who said out the tweet? I don't have access to it right now. It the tweet was originally from um, Chris Diaz. So he said that I guess there was complaints to the mall, and this has been going on for a while. It was like, what what the hell's going on with your vending machine? Yeah, I let customer service now in October, and it's still there. Now it has shiny uh, new contact info paper taped inside um, with a email address and uh, to contact the people um, and a sticker right on it, uh, Topaz Gaming. Topaz Gaming. So I guess the, the mall says, we wash our hands. It's not our vending machine. They can do whatever they want. That's a little weak from the mall, to be honest. I mean, if you know someone's selling counterfeit items. But then again, they didn't care when they were selling the little you yeah. know, Famicom clones in the early 2000s on their little wooden carts in the middle of the mall. Yeah, uh, the malls je- definitely just seem to be there to take the money and, and go. If you get in trouble for doing something with their property... Well, you don't know what's being sold in our store, I guess. Right. But once people keep bringing your attention, that's probably why they said, listen, you got to put a, a notice on that, contact you. So you can email that person if you want and say, hey, what are you doing here? And the worst part about what I saw, these were like $20. That's what I saw. Yeah, $20 uh, for a double pack of, of these. That's... That on AliExpress for like a dollar. Yeah. So... <laughs> yeah. yeah, not cool. Definitely kind of gross. Um, I'm surprised. I guess... On a candy machine, you couldn't fit a bigger cartridge than really like a little Game Boy. Yeah. Or Game Boy Advance. It's a neat idea if you wanted to do it legit. <laughs> a legit retro game. Little. You'd have to have multiple copies of the same game, though. Yes. You can't do that without counterfeiting, though. Right. It doesn't It doesn't make a whole lot of You could do it with sense. like silent services and bases loaded, too. Yeah. You could <laughs> Absolutely could. <laughs> But then, yeah, it'd be hard to, you know, you don't want someone breaking it in and still... I got, I got like, three little Samsons in there. You don't want to put that in there. <laughs> no. Plus, you got to hit 750. You got to put all the bills in, all the dollars. <laughs> You'd be there for, for a while. But I don't know if you... Do they do credit cards? Or is this an older vending machine? That's like uh, credit card? I closed it down, um, so I'm not certain if let me, let me open that back up. Is this is this just ones you put in dollar bills? or Because they have credit cards in the, on the modern machines, don't they? For yeah, like, they do. For, like, when you buy, like, soda? Yes. You can definitely use credit cards on a lot of modern machines. Which I would never do, by the way. Uh, in case they put you know those devices on to take your number. You know, honestly, this one I can't tell. Oh uh, yeah, this one looks like it allows a debit card as well as dollars. Okay. And why can't I access this tweet? This is so frustrating. But Ian did a good job accessing it for me. I wanted to see what the hell. Oh, here it is. Now I found it. Oh yeah, crush questions, comments. Oh yeah, you can. This definitely is a credit card one. Mm-hmm. You can swipe your card there. Uh, it takes Visa, Discover, <laughs> Diners Club, as you would say there as well and i like how there's just random stickers on there of like Mega Man and uh powerpuff girls yeah uh on the bottom there 
Uh, I love the machine. Uh, stealing from this machine is a crime. You will be prosecuted. St but stealing uh, copyrighted intellectual property to sell counterfeit games, that's fine. That's fine. Don't worry that, about that's, it. That's, that's fine. Don't worry about it. We'll just get our shipment from uh, from China and, and throw them in the machine there. I wonder, how, do you, how well do you think these machines actually do? Do you think they do well? I can't like imagine this? they do. Who would, who would randomly see this and then immediately say, I want to buy that versus saying, well, can I buy them? I mean, it has to be an impulse buy, right? It's like when you're buying combos from one of these machines. Yeah. You, know, you never usually say, I'm in the mood for combos. I'm going to go out and find them. But if you see combos in a machine or Starburst, I want that Starburst. Who's going to be, you know what? I want, um, let's see, what's, what's, a, what, what's a weird one in here that you would randomly want to get? You know what I mean? Like, and just say, I want that game right now for 20 bucks. I want, I want Mario and Sonic. Was that in Game Boy Advance? I want Pokemon Fire Red and Spider Man. Is that a Mary Kate and Ashley game? There's like two girls on one of the. Probably. Who would want that in a machine at the mall? A copy of Cyber Tiger for thirty <laughs> for the Game Boy. You know what? I'm I'm gonna give them a small benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna say some of these are real games. Oh, some of them probably are. Yes. Because who would who would get no a, one's no one's counterfeiting Cyber Tiger. For yeah, like, who would get a color? Cyber Tiger ga Game Boy Color? No one's counterfeiting that. I'm gonna give them benefit of the doubt. Maybe the the Pokemon Fire Red is fake, allegedly, but then maybe the Spider Man for Game Boy Advance is There's real. There's no reason for that Spider Man to not be real. Although I have seen Bootleg Spider Man before. You have, which is funny because is the Spider Man Two. Uh, I'm not sure. It's it's one of the ones with the fuck that awful typeface. <laughs> you don't like that? Oh, I hate that. I I okay. It's good they push a, put a candy in there at least. Yeah, but yeah, if there's like if someone has a hundred Pokemon's in here, they're they're likely not real. But yeah, some of these are too dumb not not to be real when you look at them. But then again, you know what? I'm gonna go on AliExpress and look for Cyber Tiger and see what comes up on AliExpress. And I'm getting uh, uh, masks. I'm getting a geek mask Cyber Tiger mask. All right. <laughs> okay, I don't get the game. So those are oh those are scumbag seller of the week. That scumbag seller of the week. Seller week. Of the week. Mall edition.